Life in Wires with Bill Four. The question is from a stage magician, and the question is what is the nature of magic, or what is magic, or the wonder that it invokes. There are two theories. I mean, magic is not a trivial issue at all. Uh, there are two theories about how the world works, and each one depends on a fundamental assumption about what the world is. There's the scientific theory, which says the world is tiny packets of matter squealing along through empty space at close to the speed of light and subject to a certain set of interlocking laws. That's what science tells us the world is. Another theory is, and to my mind, a much more appealing and even intuitively correct theory, is the world is language. Abra Kadabra. The literal meaning of this word is with my words. I create. Or with my words I bring forth into reality. That's what abracadabra means. That is also why it's tied to magic. <coughs> abracadabra magicians always pull a rabbit out of a hat. Or whatever. Saw a woman in half. The magical counterparts of a lot of the words that we use and see used today have been tucked away in the background. White noise that we don't really pay attention to. We're taught sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me as a kid. And it seems that nothing could be further from the truth than that statement. Claiming that words have no tangible grip on reality is nonsense. For example, when you write, and you were taught to write as a kid, W-R-I-T-E. Um, are you just writing down meaningless, nonsensical scribble? Or is it more along the terms of a rite, R-I-T-E? The magical, ritualistic sense of the word. The mystical rite of passage. Just as we're taught to spell, we are taught to write. The word infinite. The word infinite can be linked to the hourglass. The hourglass can infinitely be turned upside down and continue its passage of time. The hourglass is also shaped as the infinity symbol, which kind of looks like a figure eight. But the trick is in the language. Infinite. If you break it down to two words, you get in finite. Finite meaning it's a very short allotted um, bit of time, which uh, with a definite start point and a definite end point. Infinite may very well be in. Finite. 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 So when someone says, oh, we are infinite, infinite beings. beings, the New Age movement likes saying this a lot. We have infinite possibilities. Infinite spiritual infinite, consciousness. Infinite, infinite. Space is infinite. Infinite, 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 infinite. This does not necessarily mean the infinite that we've come to know to mean infinite, as an in infinity. If we're infinite, that kind of speaks to the fact that we're in a finite system. We are in a finite closed loop. 
which is kind of the opposite of the definition of infinite, what we've come to know. We are possibly trapping ourselves in a low-level physical dimension where our, mo our words make it almost impossible to escape. Reincarnation comes to mind. Just think of us as maybe being stuck in the hourglass, in the finite. 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 Even the word, for instance, no, like knowledge. When you say you know something, that usually means you're well-versed, you're knowledgeable, you have the information, you can have an intelligent conversation on the topic. You know. No, no, no. Phonetically, what does that sound like when you say, I know? It sounds like no, N-O not K-N-O-W. So when you tie a positive word like no coming from knowledge and you phonetically tie it to a word that means no, negative no, I do not know, it seems that the sabotage starts there as well. This brings up another word when we speak about, especially today, today's societal climate, we like to throw around the word uh, race, 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 race a lot. R-A-C-E, race. It's no longer the human race, which it used to be. It's now separate races. And if you look at the meaning of the word race, aside from the ethnicity aspect of it, which they've tied in, what does the word race mean? If someone's running a race against an opponent, they're competing. It's a competition. They're at odds. They're against each other. So the very idea of the word race, when applying it to separate groups of people, already phonetically ties it to competition and being at odds and not seeing perfectly eye to eye because they're your opponent, not your proponent, you're against them. I mean, I can't think of a better time to bring this word up right now. It seems that racism and the bigotry and things of this nature were taking a back seat to how they used to be in the days of old when racism was very much alive very much thriving now it seems the more race is brought up race 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 the word race competition opponents against one another competing it seems that the more and more this word is brought up now the more and more racism we actually see. The more and more at odds nature of conducting yourself throughout your day. Even the word spell. spell. If you're spelling a word. What's another meaning of spell? Another meaning of spell is a magical incantation. So when we're taught to spell when we're young in school, what are we doing? Are we merely taught how to spell and pronounce words? Or are they literally teaching us spells? Spell, spell, spell. Take the word charm, for instance. I see this is very charming, very charming house. He's a charming personality. Well, it's another meaning for charm. Again, it's another magical, almost incantation style word putting a charm on somebody, putting a spell on somebody. Our whole world is held together 
by nothing more than small mouth noises. And it, it's incredible. The entirety of global civilization is held together by small mouth noises and symbolic notations of same, which have an even more rarefied level of abstraction. Our separateness, our notion of self and world, of self and species, all rest on the carrying capacity of these small mouth noises. And I don't know if these things can be understood. After all, we're embedded in the world created by our own meanings.